because fisheries is such a good uh, good career if you want to own your own business because it generates like good money you get almost double the input that you are putting on and you can also go for ornamental because you know in big cities everybody likes to have an aquarium in their homes uh currently i'm working as a scientist of fisheries in the krishi vigyan kendra uh, in noida that's a part of uttar pradesh uh and um, uh, regarding my career i started uh, with uh, doing bachelor of fisheries and uh, it's a four year degree program professional degree program from govind ballabh pant university of agriculture and technology pantnagar which also happens to be the first agriculture university in india a very renowned one and uh, and then after that i did my masters uh masters of fishery science in the major aquatic environment management uh, it basically deals with uh, the environment suitable for fishery and stuff like that and then uh, after that i joined a phd program so basically it's the scientific study of fish so people who are doing scientific study of fish uh, are called ichthyologist or a fishery scientist in a general language uh, so basically it's just a term that is dedicated to the the study of fisheries uh, fishes their behavior their habitats their ecology and also a lot of th- other things like how we can uh, how we can capture them how we can culture them how we can process them market them it all comes under that only so this right. is a rather broader term for a lot of things that we can do under uh, like being a fishery scientist or an ichthyologist if you have done uh, your 12th uh, with biology or agriculture you are eligible to um, uh, to apply for colleges uh, in the country and um, so if you have that it means you are good to go for being a fishery scientist but also some there are some colleges which also allow mathematics but uh, i don't exactly know who they are they can do the some research and find out and then we have uh, and when you have this uh, science and i mean uh, biology as your subject it makes it easier for you because uh, you are going to study fishery their anatomy and stuff in uh, in the graduate program of fishery so then you can opt for a four year degree program that is bfsc bachelor of fishery sciences and when it comes to that uh, there are many colleges in the country and abroad uh, which are um, good for the study and uh, we have four year professional degree programs and uh, there you can go when you have like 50 or you have a span of like 3 years you do study and you do practicals and there are 50 plus courses we i remember we used to do nine sem- nine subjects a semester it was uh, it, there are number of courses that you have to pass and then after in the final year they give you a wonderful experience of rural work uh they take you to, to the uh, villages they they give you the company of the farmers you talk to them you understand what they need what they are trying to do so that you can really connect yourself to the field you know and then you also uh after that they have an industry attachment where they take you to some processing units some industries that are really working on that and then you get this part also with you you know you take some parts of it with you so th- thus you become like you have now you have like full knowledge of the fishery thing and then you can now you have like two options you can stop right here or you can go further if you want to stop right here what are the things that you can do so you can opt for because there is a in the government banks there is a special post no named as special officer uh, that's also called as agriculture officer ibps post and other of other banks as well you can uh, prepare for that exam and it has separate posts for fisheries as well so you can go there you can become a bank officer which is easier compared to the other bank exams because you have limited number of people appearing for it uh and then if you do not want to stop here uh you can go directly to the some companies as well but uh because you are just a graduate uh, we cannot expect a lot of you know good package and everything because that's just a starting uh but you can uh, dive further you can go for a masters program which is usually called the master of fisheries sciences that fishery is the men's men career the thing that this is a career for men in general so uh, now things are changing like in past years but 
when i go to a village and i tell a farmer that the, that i am here to see your pond and i'm going to tell what disease uh, um, is there is in your pond so they are like you uh, you are a woman so i say so what they are like okay so you also did the fishery they allow women to do fishery so this is like this societal thing you know that uh, they they think that this is a men career uh, although i have seen that in in fishery colleges now there are more girls than boys but but the thing is that there is this uh, you know there is this uh, common misconception or rather i would say this societal constraint that uh, that uh, women are not good enough for this but uh, me and a lot of other women in the country and in the world are proving them wrong and doing really good uh, so i think if um, like to uh, to all the girl student out there if there is if you really want to do it there's nothing especially this gender thing can stop you and this is one big thing and second is that uh the second thing is that people think that if you are doing fisheries all you have to do is go to the water this is um this is not exactly wrong you have we have our workplace is water we have to go there very frequently but that's not the only thing that you can do i mean if you do not want to stay outside and you do not want to be uh, you want to do fisheries but you do not like to you know go there in the nature and do things so what you can do is like you can go for other options like you can go for the engineering part you can go for the business part business administration part uh, so this is also there you know this conception this misconception that we have to go to the water or uh, how will i go to the water i do not know swimming will i be able to do fishery if i do not know swimming you must like biology and you must like it a lot because you are going to study the basic the fundamental of of being a fishery scientist is you have to you know go through the anatomy and biology of all the of the different fishes i told you about how they feed how they reproduce in what kind of environment they are you must know this thing to you know to go out there and help them so right. this is you must love to uh, you know uh, you must love animals and you must have a keen interest in biology the second thing is that because <clears throat> our workplace is mostly is uh, is uh, you know the nature the ponds the water bodies so you must love going out you know you must love going out you should you uh, will you must be willing to stand in the sun and work and this is also a big thing and you if you would like to do that this is perfect for you third thing is that that you uh, you must love nature and you know if you are really innovative innovative in terms of because there is a lot that we can do in terms of uh, in the field of fisheries uh, now so and there are many things coming up daily um, in, in many areas coming up like the toxicology genetics biotechnology which we are working on so you can just choose whatever you want to do and then you have to and then you have to prioritize that and if you are uh, really to really to work on that thing this will be good and a good geography can be an add on because you know uh, because a fishery thing is very much associated to geography you have to know which particular area where which fish, fish belongs and you have to know that if this is a particular river system in india we study different river systems in in the in when it comes to the world we study in which ocean or in which part of the ocean a particular fish habitat is uh, living so this is also uh, important so a good geography can be an add on so this is like uh, some basic things that a uh, person who has interest in fishery i can do but even if you do not have that even if you just have love for the for the water you want to do something for the environment and mother nature i think this is something that you should choose and you have a very very big scope if you are if you are culturing a fish in a pond and in the next to is there is a, a field where rice is grown you know rice has to be cut in a particular it has to be harvested in a particular period but when it comes to fish it can stay in the pond for as long as you like you know so the pandemic thing was not that effective and this is this is what we are like telling everyone nowadays that see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, employment and income generating practices were harmed by covid but fisheries was was affected of course the exports were affected and everything but when it comes to like the real thing the farmer thing that they uh, they weren't that much affected you know 
uh, because they they the their uh, to harvest uh, the, the fish they had in the ponds that remained the same so that wasn't uh, if you t- talk about farmer and second thing is and uh, so the farmers weren't that affected the second thing is uh, you have seen that after covid there is this trend of eating healthy and you know everybody wants to be healthy and everybody is more concerned about their health so and uh, you know this is like a good platform and i would like to share with you guys most of you might already know but you know fish re- fishes are a great source of protein vitamin a d e and it has some really essential amino acids which you do not get from other you know other things where which you eat and all, apart from this it has omega 3 and omega 6 fatty acids which are like the essential fat, fatty acid apart from fish there are very few um, things uh, out of which you get it from so uh, you know uh, a lot of people have done this study because fish are, fish are rich in protein the super food 21st century super food it's called so uh, a lot of people had it if you've seen a big demand you know rise in demand after covid and this is a very good for us for a, for or for a farmer or or a person who's working in fishery field that uh, there is an increase in demand which means there is there will be an increase in demand in your career in your particular field as well so i think uh, this is also a big thing that has uh, you know the big change that has come to this fishery sector after covid